He bought his first house. The biggest one in the suburbs. Dead homeless niggas. I got the biggest house in the white neighborhood. <laughs> Square crib. Ooh. Despite social distancing protocols being in place during April, rapper Blueface made headlines when he held a music video shoot at his California home which went horribly wrong. Long story short, he invited a group of strippers over and a fight broke out. This wasn't the first time Blueface's LA house made the news either. I mean, he kicked his mom out of the place, it's been robbed and more, so today we'll look at where the rapper calls home. Jonathan Michael Porter aka Blueface is a rapper who rose to fame in late 2018. After releasing the music video for Respect My Cripping, he became a viral sensation due to his offbeat style of rapping. These days he's a bit of a viral sensation for more reasons than his songs. He's best known for the song Thought Tiana released in 2019 which was remixed by Cardi B and YG. It became his most successful single to date, peaking at number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Although his offbeat rap style and voice have drawn him comparisons to rappers like E40, some might say, um, how can I say this nicely, he shouldn't be taken seriously at all. Whether or not the public wants to continue listening to Blueface's music, his song Thought Tiana and instant fame have earned him some money, and sources say his net worth is around $4 million currently. That being said, he was able to invest in a California home worth over a mil and wasn't afraid to show it off. Since settling down in the Santa Clarita area, Blueface got his home publicized with everything from robberies to drama with his mom and stripper fights. Some even said his house was haunted. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I asked you guys whose house you wanted to see next and someone who got multiple requests was Blueface and I thought that's sort of an odd pick, but here we go. We'll be looking at where the rapper calls home, like the house he bought once he made it, which seems to constantly make headlines. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of 6 9 in French Montana and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Just before we see the rapper's infamous crib in LA, let's get a little background. Although I don't know what his childhood home or homes looked like, Blueface has always resided in California. He was born in LA back in 1997 and grew up in mid-city in central Los Angeles where he attended multiple elementary schools. Eventually, he would move with his mom in Santa Clarita Valley, which is where he resides again now, but for some time in between, he settled in Oakland with his father. Oakland is the largest city in the East Bay region of the San Francisco Bay Area with the largest port in the Bay. After after finally settling down later in the San Fernando Valley, Blueface attended Arlita High School. Long story short, the rapper moved around California quite a bit. Once he found fame and expanded his bank account, he found his way back to the neighborhood he once lived at with his mom, Santa Clarita, California. At the young age of 22, Blueface became a first time homeowner. Since blowing up pretty fast after Thotiana, apparently he afforded himself a property in California. Last spring, the rapper took to Instagram posting a photo of his new crib, which had his Porsche and Bentley parked in the driveway way no less. He captioned the photo, I'm 22, bought my first house, biggest one on the block, million dollar homeowner, it ain't even cheap to live in California. Couldn't have done it without WAC 100 management. Blueface is right when he says it ain't cheap to live in California. According to reports, his home is valued at over $1.1 million, and the two car garage house is like the size of a small mansion. Like I mentioned, his place is located in Santa Clarita, California, which is where he lived at one point with his mom when he was younger. It's a city just north of LA, known for hosting the Six Flags Magic Mountain theme park. There are also the prehistoric stone formations of Vasquez Rock's Natural Area Park, which serve as a backdrop for many films. Although he's in the suburbs, he's close enough to the Hollywood action. His house is part of the Crest the Community, which offers homes of three different floor plans. Blueface's home spans 4,290 square feet over two floors and offers five beds and 4.5 baths. The lot itself is over 8,000 square feet as well. According to the previous listing, his home was built in 2018, so it's very new and has all the expected amenities of a modern house. Aside from the master bedroom, other rooms throughout the home include a bonus room, chef's kitchen with breakfast bar, formal entryway, great room, and even a loft. About his first house. The biggest one in the suburbs. Dead homeless thing. I got the biggest house in the white neighborhood. <laughs> Square crib. Ooh. 
Blueface showed off his new home last year on Instagram stories and states it's the biggest one on the street. Just from the first look, we can see some floor to ceiling windows and the driveway with his luxury cars. Walking in, there's a double height entry and large staircase. And off on one side, there's a den with full glass doors opening up to the front yard. Then there's another larger living room or what may be the great room which comes complete with a fireplace and shares a large open area with the state of the art kitchen that has a center island and extra pantry. On this floor, there's also the formal dining room. The whole common area also has floor to ceiling glass doors sliding out to the backyard. On the upper level, he shows in his stories how many expansive bedrooms there are. There's also more than one large walkout balcony on the upper level and nice views in each of the suites. Yeah, I ain't. About five bedrooms in this month. Dead homies for no reason. <laughs> five bedrooms just for me. Blue Faces master bedroom has a large ensuite bathroom with marble features and a large center tub. This leads to the huge walk-in closet as well. When the rapper moved in, the backyard wasn't finished and was essentially a plot of dirt. We can see there wasn't much of anything back on the grounds, but according to the listing, there was a hot tub spa. Unless they were talking about the one in the bathroom. Only time will tell if Blueface builds a pool back there too. Million dollars right here. Bop. There was also some footage posted of graffiti art that Blueface showed in his home. Some of the walls were made to be a blue camel mural with designs that reflected his personality and life. Ooh, whole lot of gang shit. It's Sonic throwing up the set. Scoop. Phoebe. First album. Billboards. Yeah, that motherfucker on Billboards. Stop playing. Shout out to. SoundCloud, SoundCloud changed my life. I wouldn't be here without it. I'm not done with it though. I got a lot of open space in the wall still. I know I'm throwing up the World Star logo. Because y'all ain't even know. But World Star let me use their platform before I even had a deal. Before I even had a thousand dollars in my pocket. World Star let me use their platform. So they for sure going in this bitch. And they let me use it for free. <laughs> So all them blog sites talking about he paid to be on World Star. Don't believe the internet because they don't know what the f they talking about. They just talking. I wonder what other changes Blueface has in the works for his home. Maybe eventually he'll build a studio in his place and drop new music more frequently. Like I said, Blueface's home may be a fairly new purchase for the rapper, but it already has its fair share of stories. Even when he moved in, people said that they saw a ghost in the window and called the home haunted. This may sound like the biggest joke, but I swear you can see something lurking in that front window in his Instagram pic. Like who is that? And then there was the time he kicked his mom out from living there due to clout chasing. Although the drama was talked about by many, Blueface told everyone the real reason why this went down, saying, My mom got tired of my broke ass sister freeloading at her house, so she brought her to mine and I wasn't going for it. I already got her an apartment. I guess that wasn't enough. What happened with mama now? What happened with mama and your sister? Oh, um. Uh... I'm not gonna get too far into detail, but I'm. But well, we I'm, see most of I, it. Yeah, I know, I know. So mm -hmm. it's it's not it's not too much for me to you know, but uh, pretty much they just came down visit regular. My mom got her own spot, her own thing going. She's good. Uh, my sister, on the other hand, she you know she's going through her life situation, so she came down. I was gonna help her out, you know, get her get her back going, and then they just you know got too too a little advantagey, so I kind of like had to come back a little bit because you know the expectations get higher when people tend to think you gon' you know you got money and stuff exactly like that. Yeah. so i had to you know just fall back that's your there. mama though he we, said his mama good yeah my mom good. Mama good. she okay, got a okay. whole house she stay in ohio she she good it's really my sister that's what they came down for. in november of last year while blueface was in dubai he caught some people trying to break into his home too he posted the footage from his security cameras which showed the three men attempting to get inside and most recently of course there was a stripper fight despite the global pandemic and quarantine laws around the end of april blue invited what looks like a dozen or so people to his home for a music video including a group of strippers he shared outtakes through his ig stories and one thing led 
went to another, and the girls started squabbling. This turned into multiple boxing matches, looking like something straight out of a reality TV show. So now we've seen where Blueface lives, and it seems to be his first and only property at the moment. Whether you like the rapper or not, good for him that he was able to buy a million dollar home at such a young age. What did you guys think of his place? Before we wrap this up, I'll read out a couple of comments from previous videos. On our Migos house tour, Emmanuel BB Guys wrote, Wow, thank you God, it's very nice. Best rapper group in the world, Migos. That's crazy, amazing mansion, unbelievable. I agree that they're great and so are their homes. And on our French Montana house tour, Kaya said, you're so good at making YouTube videos, we appreciate the time you take and research to make these videos because we're too lazy to. Thank you, Kaya. Alright guys, that's all I got on Blueface's home in Santa Clarita, California, but I'm sure with all the crazy stuff going down over there, we'll only see more of it. What did you guys like or dislike about the place? Tell me in the comments down below as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all in the next vid. Bye!